How to buy a laptop guide for PC users. Hi, I'm Dave of Tech Experts, and we help entrepreneurs close the gaps that exist across the tools needed for your business. Today, we're going to look at our buying guide for laptops. It's Windows laptops for entrepreneurs. And we're going to look at four major points that we look at. And we'll have a bonus item when we get through those. And if you stick around the end, I'll have two amazing recommendations for you. So let's see what we look at. Number one, it's going to be the processor. We want the latest generation and the fastest one we can get. And the reason for this is it is the thing that manages everything that you are working on and controls everything that runs in your PC. So for this, we like the Intel 11th Gen Core i7 or the AMD Ryzen 9 series. Either of these processors, I think, are great choices for your entrepreneurial needs. The second item up is gonna be the memory, or they'll refer to it as the RAM. And for this, we want at least 16 gigs of RAM. What does that mean? It is the part that helps work hand in hand with the processor to support you having all your applications open and keeping them up to date and remember to where you're at on all of them on the fly. That means when you have all those tabs open in your Windows browser, so you have your 20 tabs in your browser, you've got your couple of Word documents you're working on that you haven't saved yet, you got your Excel spreadsheet you're doing your calculations in, you're playing your music in the background, and you're doing your Zoom conference call, it can keep all of that in memory and remember where you're at on all of it at the same time and not have to slow down, freeze up, or look at the hard drive for something. So the next point we like to look at is the graphics card. And there's two choices on this, a standard integrated graphics card and a dedicated graphics card. The standard integrated graphics card means it's built into the processor and your machine already. It comes with it. And a dedicated graphics card means it's an extra card you're adding and it's added into the machine to give you more graphics performance. That is for the people that are doing the video editing, YouTube video creation, you're doing photo editing or photo work in Adobe Creative Suites or Canva all day, you're doing gaming or Twitch live streaming. Those are the people we wanna see have a dedicated graphics card and for that, we like the GeForce graphics cards and thinks they're a great fit for your needs. The fourth item on the list is going to be the hard drive. And this is the place where you're storing all of your data. So you want to remember, you want enough space to store all of your data. If you wanna make sure you're not duplicating things and everything is well managed and well stored and figure out the size, we think you need to do that first. So before you start, make sure you've watched that file management video. We have a link to it in the show notes. It'll help teach you how to manage your files, make sure everything is super organized and calculate the full amount of space that you're going to need to use. So for this, we automatically have, or I, I should say, I have a recommendation for all users. I would say all users need to start at one terabyte. So you need at least a one terabyte hard drive in your laptop to start with. Now, if you calculate and need more space than that, it's okay, we'll bump up to a bigger one. If you know you're gonna be doing lots of large video editing and you're doing 4K videos and you're making all kinds of videos all day for YouTube and, and streaming, then you need to bump up to a bigger hard drive as well. But you will still want to calculate the amount of space you're gonna need first so you know what you're moving to. So those are the four items that I have that I look at when I'm buying a laptop or guiding my customers to buy a laptop. My first one is the processor. I like that Intel 11th Gen Core i7 or the Ryzen, uh, Ryzen 9 series and it's the latest versions out there, right? Fastest we can get. The next thing is memory. 16 gigs of RAM is the minimum, like I was saying before, that's the minimum amount of memory we have. We can always go higher if we need it for content for video people. The third thing is that use the standard graphics card for most users, or if you're doing things that are heavy video intensive, gaming, live streaming, uh, Twitch streaming, photo editing, 
video creation for YouTube, then the dedicated graphics card of the Radeon, uh, the GeForce is the card for you. The fourth thing, like we said, is the hard drive that stores all your critical data and is most, most things need to be on. Everything is going to be on here and we want at least a one terabyte drive. So that's the four items I recommended. Now, I said I promised a bonus item once we got through the four main category items that I look at. So the bonus items can be a little bit something different than maybe you're going to expect. I'm going to recommend you get a two to three year accident protection plan on your laptop. Yeah, you heard that right. Two to three years of accident protection coverage on your laptop. You may be like, why would I do that? That doesn't even make sense. So two years is the minimum, I'd say. Three years is really the spot you probably should be at. And the reason for this being is your laptop is a mobile device. So it means you'll be taking it with you and working in more than one place. As an entrepreneur, I know you're going to be working from home, from the office. Maybe you're going to be going through the airport. Maybe you're working at the coffee house or you're going out for meetings with your clients or wherever you're doing your work. You need to make sure that laptop stays protected in case something happens. It's just like your phone. Think of it very much in the same way your phone is a mobile device, right? So you have that protection plan or that insurance coverage on your phone. So in case you drop it and break the screen or it falls in water and gets damaged, they will replace it or fix it or repair it without being a major outlay or cost to you. Well, your laptop is the same way. A precious company asset that has great value and has your stuff on it. So you need to protect it. And the reason I say two to three years, at two to three years, you want to look at replacing your laptop with the newest generation that's available. And you say, really? So it's like your phone. After two years, you're going to be looking at replacing. By three years, you definitely want to replace. Just like your phone, when you replace it after two or three years, you're replacing it because the camera's better, the screen's better, the battery life is better, it scrolls faster, it's just nicer and works better overall because the technology has jumped that much in the two to three year time period. Well, laptops are working the same way. Their technology is jumping so much in that two to three year time period that when you get the new one, you can increase your efficiency over what you were able to do because everything else has been moving forward in that same time. So now you want the new one so it's able to keep up with all of the work and all the things you need to do and keep you efficient as possible, saving you time and money. And that's why we believe a protection plan and a replacement plan after two to three years is key. So those are my recommendations. Now let's see what I recommend for the parts, or I should say for the machines. My first recommendation is going to be for almost all entrepreneurs out there. I think this is a great fit for all the entrepreneurs out there. And as long as you're not doing that major video editing or live Twitch streaming, this is the laptop I think that is right for you. And that's going to be a Dell XPS 13.4 FHD touchscreen. So it's going to have a 13.4 diagonal touch and uh, touchscreen. It's going to have an integrated graphics and it's going to run at full HD. So 1920 by 1080p for the resolution. And it's going to look great on that size and be portable and goable as you need it. My second recommendation, this is the one where we're saying you're doing a lot of the graphics work, right? You're doing the Twitch streaming, the gaming, the photo work and the creative suites or Canva all day long, or you're doing video creation for YouTube all day. Then we want one that's got that extra graphics performance in it. So we're going to recommend something different. We're going to, for one, go with an AMD Ryzen 9 series, and it's going to be in an Asus Rogue ROG Zephyrus Z-E-P-H-Y-R-U-S G14VR. And that means it's going to have a GeForce graphics card in it. So it's going to help you boost that graphics from being able to do the gaming, the video editing, the live streaming, the twitching, and all the photo work you need to do with it. As well as it's going to have a 14 inch screen. So it's a little bit bigger screen than the other one. So it's going to have plenty of power to push what you want to do and be able to do all that creation you want to do or, or, or live abilities you want. 
I think these are two great choices and they cover both spectrums for the entrepreneur. They're both super mobile and usable. Now, maybe you feel like that's not really what I'm looking for or it sounds like it's not big enough or I want more memory in it or I want more hard drive space or maybe I want a different graphics card. Or you're not really sure which one's right for you exactly. That's okay. Click the link in the show note description where it says tech assessment and complete your tech assessment so we can determine where you're at or if we're a good fit for your needs and will help us figure out exactly what you need better so we can make sure we give you the right recommendations right for your needs so we can get you the right machine to make you a successful entrepreneur out there. Hopefully you found this video helpful and you liked it, so please give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can continue to push out and you be notified when the new content comes out. Speaking of which, those show link, the links to both the laptops are in the show notes and they are affiliate links through Amazon, so we do get a commission back when you click that, but that helps us support the show and create, continue to create these amazing videos, our guides, our tech tips, and all of our reviews that we get to do and put out, we are supported by you when you do that. And we are thankful for that. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, please leave them in the comments below. You can email us, our email is in the show notes, as well as DM us, and we'd be happy to chat with you. I'm Dave of Tech Experts, and I look forward to working with you.